Even in the best of circumstances, air travel can be challenging. The stresses of packing, getting to your flight on time, arranging transportation to and from the airport, and then waiting in all those security lines can be a draining experience. And in some extreme cases, you even have to deal with snakes on the plane. Enough is enough! I have had it with these monkey-fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane! But in November 2018, passengers on British Airways Flight 2036 had the ultimate bad travel experience, as a parade of complications turned what should have been an eight-hour flight into 77 hours of stop-and-go hell. The trouble started in Florida, the home of Disney World, alligators, and controversial elections. On an incredibly vexing Thursday evening, more than 200 people hopped on a plane slated to take them from Orlando to London. Simple enough, right? Well, that plan took a nosedive when a technical fault grounded the plane for four long hours after boarding with the passengers stuck inside. Eventually, the flight was rescheduled for the next night, and passengers had to stay overnight in hotel rooms. Oh, it's nothing to be alarmed about. We'll be back to you very quickly. The next day brought more frustration as the coach that was transporting passengers to the airport was reportedly delayed twice. Finally, more than 24 hours after its original departure time, the plane got off the ground. But it didn't stay in the air long. After a mechanical snag reportedly caused the landing gear to randomly deploy, the plane was diverted to New York City for more repairs. Six bucks in my right nut says we're not landing in Chicago. To make things worse, it was a very bumpy ride. One passenger told the BBC, Children were having panic attacks, the turbulence was awful, and people were scared, tired, and hungry. In New York, the situation went from frustrating to rage-inducing. British Airways employees reportedly didn't arrive until the next morning, leaving the marooned, hungry passengers without food or water. Plus, due to the New York Marathon, it was incredibly difficult to book a hotel. A lucky few managed to find lodging at their own expense, but many stranded passengers had to sleep on the floor at the airport, including a seven-year-old cancer survivor. The misery finally ended on the third day when an actually functioning plane at last arrived at JFK to take the passengers home though some passengers were understandably skeptical by then. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. A British Airways representative told Business Insider, We appreciate that this was an exhausting and frustrating experience for our customers, and we have apologized for the long delay to their flight. Not all the customers accepted the apology, though. One ticked-off traveler said British Airways turned her dream trip to Disney World into a nightmare, while another said, I think they fell down on duty of care for passengers. There was no leadership. It will be a long time before I go back to them. What makes BA's debacle especially egregious is that it isn't even the first time in recent years that the airline has given passengers massive headaches. In September, it was discovered that hackers stole the credit card info of hundreds of thousands of British Airways customers, while in October, the company revealed that 185,000 more people's private data had been poached by cyber crooks. And back in May 2017, a BA engineer made the seemingly tiny mistake of unplugging the company's data system and wreaked absolute havoc on people's travel plans. The airline canceled hundreds of flights, with tens of thousands of passengers stranded for days unable to access their baggage. We're not sure whether British Airways just had a ridiculously unlucky couple of years, absurdly incompetent employees, or both. But if multi-day flight delays become a time-honored tradition, the company could risk grounding their reputation for good.